took a good look at the United States today on TV, and I don't know if the rest of the people here saw it or not, but lately, uh, California is in real trouble. And the people out there have got to start praying for rain. I've been praying and praying and praying, and the thing keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger, not better. There's no rain. Now, right next to it, Arizona, they got floods, but next, and then right next to them, California, which is the breadbasket, is severely in trouble. If they didn't have Lake Mead, I know there'd be some places that would be completely out of water. And what I think in my heart, and I feel it, that it's like God saying, start praying for those people, and, and keep praying, because I feel in this year, 2014, 2015, something is going to happen. Yes, it is. And it's in Matthew chapter 24. I've been studying it. And Matthew chapter 24 tells what Jesus is talking about. Yes. And we're in there, and we will suffer too. Yes. I mean, I thought before somebody said, I don't worry about it, you're a Christian, you won't suffer. That was years ago. And I said to that person, I don't believe that. I think we're going to have to suffer too. And I think a lot of us don't realize how good we have it right now. But I feel, I'm not trying to scare you, but I feel in the next few months, maybe eight months, nine months down the road, the American dollar is going to really, if you think 9-11 hit us, this is really going to hit us soon. And we have to pray that, that America turns or does stops turning their back on God and that America will turn their eyes and heart to Christ because Christ is yes, yes. the only hope. We used to be, America used to say the Pledge of Allegiance years ago back in the 60s and 70s, you know, even the hippies did back then. But now you can't even read a Bible or say, what is that? Well, that's a Bible. Well, we don't like Bibles. Get that Bible out of here. Or, or they'll say, sorry, you can't pray here. You can't pray here anymore. They take the chaplains out of the places. They, they take all these other people. And then the devil gets in there and he takes over. Well, now it's time for us to take over and to, to make America get on their knees and ask God to forgive them for their sins and then start praying for America. Because if we don't pray for America, America is going to be in serious, serious trouble. And the Bible talks about it. You read Matthew chapter 24. Seriously read it and look at it and study it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Thank you.